The winter of 2015 has broken tons of low temperature records in New York and the Northeast, resulting in a frozen Hudson River unlike any I've seen in decades, and an encounter with a pack of wild coyotes unlike I've ever experienced. Look closely in the scene and you'll spot three coyotes getting cut off by the Coast Guard Cutter Willow as they try to cross the Hudson River a few hundred yards from the dock in Cold Spring, New York, only an hour north of New York City. Before their encounter with this large cutter, I had been tracking a pack of four coyotes for about an hour as they tried unsuccessfully to cross the river. They kept running into human obstacles, including a pair of Coast Guard cutters and tugboats trying to free up a frozen tug and oil barge. At one point, as a large barge made its way up the river in the background, two of the coyotes decided to break the ice coyote style. I guess that's one way to deal with the eight degree temperatures. After this fairly brief romantic interlude, they all took a short break and I moved down river in order to get a better vantage point. The snowstorm eased up and the coyotes showed how quickly they could move around and over the perilous ice flows that to me looked like a scene from an Alaskan wilderness video. They also showed a playful side. I have to say I was fascinated watching them. I'd only seen one or two coyotes in any one place before in my life, and to see four of them frolicking on the frozen river was just incredible. A little further down the river, I was able to pull over and take some footage of this train going by right at the point where the barge is stuck in the river, and that's in the background on the other side of the blowing snow. You'll also see two coyotes running down the river, and another one is actually off to the left hiding in front of the Coast Guard cutter. Even if the four coyotes had been able to get across the river at this point, they would have run smack dab into that giant freight train going up the river. Next, I made my way to the top of a cliff just north of Cold Spring, where I had a bird's eye view of the entire river in both directions. I could see the barge and the tugboat stuck in the ice, the small Coast Guard cutter, and the four coyotes trying to make their way south past the Coast Guard cutter. I'm sure by now the coyotes were wondering why there was so much activity on an otherwise quiet section of river. At this point, the leader of the pack decided to see if it was safe to cross the east side channel. But the other three coyotes would have none of that. Meanwhile, the Coast Guard cutter Willow had arrived to help free the oil barge and its tugboat from the frozen Hudson River. It was heading south and it looked like it was going to take more than one pass to get the barge out. As it headed further south past the Coast Guard cutter line, that's the small one on the left, I actually see a crewman there taking a picture of it as it goes by if you look closely. But the noise of the breaking ice in front of the Coast Guard cutter continued to drive the coyotes even further south towards Cold Spring. I took the opportunity to head down to Cold Springs docks to get photos of the willow as it passed, and was surprised to see it turning around in front of West Point and heading back north, where it ran right into the pack of coyotes and started the scene that began this movie. It's amazing that this footage is shot from the dock at Cold Spring, five minutes walk from the train station, and just over an hour from the center of Manhattan by train. Now, there's never a guarantee that you're going to run into coyotes when you get off the train in Cold Spring. 
But I can tell you this from years of commuting into New York. If you keep your eyes open during the winter, you're bound to see several bald eagles on the ice flows between Cold Spring and Peekskill. And maybe, if you're lucky, you'll spot a coyote running alongside the train on his way down to Central Park, where they seem to catch at least one or two coyotes every year. And now I know how they get there.